Joining us right now is Wells Fargo Investment Institute head, global market strategist, Paul Christopher. Paul, good to see you. Thanks for joining good us. Good morning. Thank are, you. Are all of these things getting in the way or becoming a uh, distraction for investors? I don't think so. If you think about elections, only if an election result could undermine the economic recovery do we think that investors will pay attention. And likewise with terrorism, unfortunately, the economy remains the focus. And even with the ECB, we think tomorrow is probably just going to be more set up for an eventual but not immediate tapering of buying of bonds. So you brought in your 2017 mid-year outlook. Thank you for that. What is your mid-year outlook? <laughs> Look, the, the, the idea is simple. Seize the opportunities. We think U.S. investors have been buying large cap stocks for a long time. We see some consolidation into year end. I didn't say a bear market. We still think the cycle continues, but we've got a really good opportunity here to take profits on some winners and recycle that cash into other places where we have conviction. So where do you see risk in the marketplace right now? Because I see a couple tailwinds. I mean, you're starting to see the dollar get softer, and that's been a big boon for the U.S. large caps. Because when you think about it, about 46% of their revenues come from overseas. They're global multinational corporations right. that can benefit from a low interest rate environment. So where are you seeing the risk? And, and you're talking about deploying elsewhere. Where should they do that? Well, the, the main risk would probably be from ultimate, ultimately from Fed rate hikes. As the Fed continues to hike, it's probably not immediate, but you're going to see liquidity draining from the system. We're already seeing liquidity growth slow from stronger positive to weaker positive. Eventually, that negative, that the liquidity turns negative, and at that point, when you get a shock, then you end up seeing some forced selling, as li investors can't get liquidity and they have to sell. So that's the main risk going forward, and we think by the end of the year, the consolidation occurs because investors simply have to start taking more account of the Fed. But really, the opportunity are in a variety of places. Look, if you took some winners out of large caps here, you could start thinking about international, which U.S. investors have neglected now for a bunch of years. There are some opportunities there. We're still even like with those Europe. places, like Europe, like emerging markets even. And they're high dividend payers, right? They're higher dividend payers. In Europe, across the board, across the sectors, the dividends are higher there than in U.S. sectors. What do you think the impact will be if health care tax reform doesn't, doesn't get done? I mean, there's some uncertainty there, especially just after that last interview. There. Right. Now, we've made no accounting or no allowance for any sort of assumption on tax reform for our 2017 targets. As we but get how into can you not make any allowance? I mean, isn't that one of the key reasons that the market is up? It's one, it was one of the reasons, but it's been reversed. Okay. <laughs> the whole, and it's been more than just the idea of a Trump trade. It's been the idea of global reflation. And global reflation has been disappointing as well. So take that one out of the equation, but you've still got liquidity growth positive, and you've still got a synchronized global economic recovery that's really driving the whole thing. And that's why stocks have been resilient until now. Would you add more new... Um would you add new money to technology stocks? We would not at this point. We don't think it's tech bubble 2.0. Uh, the, the valuations on tech stocks could get a lot higher before it would get that stretched. But we do think there's better places in the market. We like consumer discretionary. We like industrials, financials, and healthcare. And we would be underweighting at this point energy, uh, consumer staples, and industrial. Uh, excuse me, and uh, utilities. All right. We will uh, be watching the, the redirect. Thanks <laughs> right. very much, Paul. Good Thank to you. See you. Paul Christopher. Uh,